well, oh my gosh, uh, I didn't mean to um, let so much time pass before making another video. I've been like, I've been running like a chicken without its head. Like I've been, so, I've been so swamped, and I got invited on um, split last second. Like when I say last second, I mean a few hours before it is to happen to go on um, a, a ten day long uh, camping trip. It was, it's kind, it was kind of for work. So I ended up going to uh, Las Vegas and Utah. That's where I've been, and I, it was a horseback riding uh, trip. And I'm gonna show you guys some beautiful uh, scenery. I mean, it was so gorgeous. I would love to move to uh, Nevada or Utah, California, Arizona, because as you know, I, I just cannot tolerate the humidity. And um, I should also you now that I literally just got back into Florida late last night. It's just like, <laughs> I, I really am so miserable. I just, I can't tolerate the humid climate, but okay, I'm gonna stop complaining about the humidity before someone shoots me here. But, um, so I'm actually gonna be picking up my birds. So I'm gonna, sh and this is the longest time I've ever been without my birds. Uh, they've been boarded at the vet for 11 days. <laughs> that, that's insane. Yeah, I feel really bad because um, the longest I've ever left my birds was for five days, maybe six days, not even. So, but like I said, this was unfortunately um, work related. So I'm gonna stop babbling and I'm, I'm gonna... And one, one disclaimer I wanted to note is that um, uh, this was a Western uh, horse camping trip, so they had Western saddles. And I'm gonna show you guys what my butt and my legs look like. My legs have never been swollen. Like, you know, I'm used to riding for hours. Like I used to um, exercise, uh, you know, horses and ride a lot for hours and hours a day. Not, not the same horse, it was, you know, different horses. I've never been sore whatsoever from horseback riding, but um, I'll show you guys a picture here what my legs look like and um, I'll spare you the, the what my butt looks like. You don't want to see that because it was pretty bad. And um, the thing is that the Western saddle is like sitting on cement, whereas the English saddle is like you're floating on air. It's cushiony, it's very comfortable and it's lightweight and I'm, I'm, I'm just not a fan of Western. And another thing I'm definitely not a fan of is um, uh, bridles that use bits. Um, you know, the bit that goes in the horse's mouth. That's actually, it's pretty much a animal cruelty. I'll just put it out there. It's just, it's totally unnecessary. And um, if I do ride, I, you know, I have a bitless bridle and you, you can control the horse just fine without putting that bit in the horse's mouth. And, um, you know, I used to ride for years and years and I had no idea how um, detrimental and painful it is for the horse to have that bit in its mouth. And I'll post a segment here or make another video on this topic. So I'm not a fan of uh, bridles with bits. So if you're going to ride, I would definitely say um, go, go the bitless route. It's a lot more comfortable for the horse. And it's, like I said, totally unnecessary to have a bit in the horse's mouth. I'm not a fan of that whatsoever. So stay tuned for the breathtaking views. You'll, you'll regret it if you don't watch it. I mean, they're like unbelievable, gorgeous views. Oh my gosh, I wish I lived there so bad. I'm going to concentrate my driving and I'll catch the next clip. <laughs>
shuffle, and I'm going to, uh, I don't know where I'm going right now, I'm just going to uh, terminal number one. Uh, yeah, that's what's happening right now. This is my own outfit. Stop. This is dry, there's no water running through it, it's just the wind rain. That looked like Sedona. Wow, like a 3D artist. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to take pictures. We'll be camped in a similar area. I will actually do With this light, it's changing that little bit. Oh, cool. It's dark in there. Creepy. I like it.
Oh gosh. Does it go all the way through? Stand that close. Oh, the rubber. There's a rubber down there. Uh oh. Cinnamon cockatiel. Such cute. Hey, buddy. Huh. Cute. Hello. So sweet. Why oh, so cute? Oh, oh he's so cute. He's barely, he's just tickling my finger. They're not even biting. Cheek on yours, they're wild. <laughs> And my birds are so happy to be out of the cage. Okay, well, I'm gonna end the video here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm so sorry. Um, 
and uh, stay tuned for the next one. I, I'm crossing my fingers. I can renovate to my condo. ASMP, I mean, at least the kitchen. So um, if you're interested in topics like that, uh, stay tuned and hopefully I'll be able to um, get to kitchen because as you know, this is my kitchen right there. And that's my kitchen right now. As you guys can see, I have no kitchen cabinets, nothing. I just have a stove and a refrigerator. Everything else is completely gone, <laughs> gutted. Well, my hair's kind of a mess. Um, it, it doesn't matter. And thanks so much for watching. Uh, thank, let me try this again. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a great day. Bye. Don't remove the Asian lama a long, long time ago. This is the time of the apocalypse. The dream of the lasting peace I tell you what Value your modern life